Can you tell us about cataract? What is it and how would a person suspect if they have it? Okay, cataract, it's a normal aging process. So it happens to everybody at a certain point of their life. Either it's a significant cataract or a non-significant cataract. So it's affecting your vision significantly or not. But everybody gets cataract. It's like gray hair. You're going to get gray hair, whatever you do. So cataract is the lens of your eye getting its fibers so condensed or de denaturating in a certain way because it's proteins and it becomes less transparent. So the, the more less transparent it is, the more you have problems seeing. Like it's as if you're looking through a sandpapered glass. The more it's opaque, your vision, you're not seeing well. And once you remove this cataract, you gain back your vision as it was. So is the treatment for cataract only the surgery? Unfortunately, there is no treatment. There is no definite, treat, very definite treat, treatment for uh, cataract except surgery. And what, what does the surgery involve? Could you let, tell us a bit more about it? Okay. The lens of the eye is formed of a capsule. And inside that capsule, there's a lot of lens fibers and the nucleus. Those lens fibers change their transparency into an opaque state. So what we do is we open this capsule in a surgical, microsurgical way, and then surgically we manage to dissolve the content of the, the lens and absorb all this and then implant our intraocular lens in, inside this bag. And what are the types of lenses? Because I've heard of, there's quite there's a few that a people can choose lot from. of types of lenses. The, the, the array of types is huge. Each case would need counseling and certain evaluation to tell them what they need. The new evolution in this is the enhanced depth uh, lenses, which gives you better uh, reading and far vision. And there is also the multifocal ones, the trifocal or the, the ones that helps you read and see far, but it, it, it has different focus for, for each one of them. These are the most new advances and they're very good. Uh, most patients are extremely happy with them. We used to have the normal lenses and we still have them, very high quality also. And uh, uh, these are the monofocal lenses, which has only one focus. So when, you put, when we put them on, we make our calculations so you can see far very well. And you need helping glasses for uh, like reading glasses to help you read close. And would you say there are complications that patients need to be aware of before undergoing cataract surgery? Well, there are. Well, it's a surgery after all. So there are complications that could happen. They're very rare. Cataract surgery is a very simple surgery. The whole surgery takes five to ten minutes. Ten minutes when it's a very difficult surgery and five minutes when it's a straightforward surgery. So it's a very simple procedure that doesn't really entail a lot of dangers. It needs a skillful doctor, of course. Cataract and LASIK are one of the least complicated surgeries that ever exist. Were, were there times where you had to manage complications? Oh, definitely. This is my speciality because I train a lot of younger doctors. So I deal with compli intraoperative complications and postoperative complications. This is the, the, the core of my practice is teaching younger doctors. And we're all always exposed to any complications that uh, happens because you're a tertiary, like we're the end referral uh, point. So we, we, we deal with any complications that happens anywhere uh, in Egypt totally. So you're speaking about complications that happen with other doctors yes. and they come to you to fix yes. these complications rather than go to the doctors who treated them. Well, not everybody is capable of treating all complications. Okay. So usually when, when, when you're operating in a remote, a smaller hospital, sometimes you need more equipment. Sometimes you need more skilled staff, senior ophthalmologists that can deal with complications. So uh, yes, when you're the end referral point, usually you get all the difficult complications that nobody else can uh, handle. But you haven't really had complications in your own surgeries. In my practice? Well, I rarely have that. That's I rarely have that. 